Fuzzy. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Jillian and I am super excited for today's video. I'm going to be showing you two super yummy treats for the Christmas holiday time. I'm, I'm time. I'm. I know Christmas is tomorrow, but I think it's appropriate to still make these after Christmas. If you're having like a New Year's party, this these would be amazing to make for it. And yeah, let's just head on into the video. So to make this popcorn treat, you are going to need some popped popcorn, and I used light buttery, but you can also use the plain white. You're also going to need some white chocolate chips, some crushed pretzels, some Christmas colored M&Ms, or any other treat that you'd like to put in it, and then some different assortments of sprinkles. Once you've got all of your ingredients, the first step is to just pour your M&Ms and your crushed pretzels into your popcorn. Then you can go ahead and melt your chocolate. I'm pretty sure that I just used two to three cups, but this obviously does depend on how much popcorn mixture you have and how much chocolate you would like in it. Then making sure your popcorn isn't gonna overflow out of the bowl while you're mixing this, you might wanna split your popcorn into two bowls, which I did, and then you can just begin taking your chocolate and pouring it on to your popcorn. Once you have poured roughly half of your chocolate onto your popcorn mixture, then you can take a silicone spatula and begin mixing the chocolate into the popcorn and make sure that everything is covered evenly with chocolate. And then you can repeat all of that with the rest of your chocolate. Then once you are done, you can take a piece of parchment or wax paper and then you're gonna lay out your chocolatey, yummy mixture all out on there, creating an even layer, sort of like you're making a chocolate bark. And then you can take all of your little sprinkles. I'm using some little candy cane mint sprinkles, some little Christmas trees, and then some crushed candy canes. And then just go ahead and evenly sprinkle them on top. And then you need to let it cool for a little while until it is solidified. And if you had any leftover white chocolate, it is a super fun idea to make some chocolate covered pretzels while you're waiting. And these can become another super cute and easy little snack for the holidays. Once your popcorn is all cooled, you can take it and break it up into all little pieces. And that is it for this super cute and easy and definitely delicious holiday treat. For this, you're going to need some milk of any kind, some white chocolate chips, some peppermint extract, some vanilla extract, and a mug. And then just whatever you would like to decorate your hot chocolate. So you can start by heating up your milk in a saucepan, and you're going to want to put this on medium heat, and make sure that you continue to stir it as it is heating up, because milk will burn to the bottom of your pan. Once your milk has heated up, you can take your chocolate chips and dump them into your pan. And this is going to be as much as you want to put in there because this is going to go for your taste. Then once all of your chocolate chips are melted into the milk, you can take your pan off of the element. And as you guys can see, I accidentally forgot to turn off my element while I was doing this step, so make sure you do that. But then you can just grab some vanilla extract and put in just a teeny bit, probably about half a teaspoon. Then you can take your peppermint extract and add in as much as you want for your flavor. And then you can just stir that all together. And here I finally noticed to turn off my element. But then you guys can do some taste tests to make sure you have as much peppermint extract as you would like. And you may need to add some more like I did. It just depends on how strong you want the peppermint flavor to be. Once you've got the flavor you were aiming for, you can pour your hot chocolate into your mug. 
And then you can go in for the best part and that is making your hot chocolate all nice and pretty. And as you guys can see, my whipped cream sprayed everywhere. I don't know why, like I was doing it right, but you know, that was pretty funny. But yeah, just add some whipped cream and candy cane, whatever you would like, just to make it all nice and pretty. And please feel free to try this because this is the most amazing hot chocolate I have ever had. But yeah, that is it. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up And if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel okay. Check out my social medias, which will be in the ah. <laughs> Really? Anyways, um, check out my social medias, which will be in the description as always and yeah, that's it. And hold up, can we just take a minute and realize the fact that Christmas is tomorrow? Oh my god, mind blown. <laughs> Except I'm actually super sad though because like, I get so excited for Christmas, but then once it comes, it's like, wow, that sucks because like now Christmas is over. That sucks. Anyways, so yeah, I really hope you guys have a good Christmas. I will be uploading a Christmas haul either on Christmas Day or the day after Christmas. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, and I'll see you then. Bye!